in this video we're going to go over calibrating your 7517 indicator. This indicator is an LED indicator and it is a five prong connection. If you did purchase this indicator to try to replace your existing one, it is a five prong connection. If you do need an additional cable or if you need a cable to replace as well, five prong. On the back of this indicator, it does also have RS232 and a DC charging port. So RS232 and DC charging point here. Okay, so uh, to calibrate, first you're gonna wanna do is you wanna make sure your scale is empty. Right here we have a red two by two floor scale. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on your indicator once it's connected. This indicator does have a built-in battery as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn it on, make sure we have good connectivity. So the first thing you'll do is have it plugged in and you wanna make sure it holds zero. If it's not holding zero, there's probably an issue as far as connection somewhere. Again, another test would be to press onto your scale and let go with your hand and just make sure the indicator is reacting to you pressing onto the scale. So that's a good test right now. So we know we have good connectivity and we can go ahead and begin to calibrate. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to press on and off and set and print together at the same time, just press and let go. So press and let go. So C01, C01 is asking if it's gonna be pounds or kg. Press set and print. So pounds is two. You can use the arrows to go up and down to change this number. One is kg. So once you have it on the correct setting you want. So for this video, we're gonna do two for pounds and you're gonna press set and print right here, okay? Here C02 is asking how many decimal points you're gonna have on your scale. So for our setup today, we're gonna to do one decimal point. So you press set and print to get in here. And right now it's set to one. You can change it to two, three, four, or no decimal points. But we're gonna change it to one. We're gonna set this scale to 2500 by 0 0.5. So we're gonna press set and print to save that. Next is C03. C03 is asking what divisions we're gonna be counting in. So it can be set to five, 10, 20, 50, one, or two. We're gonna set it to five. So this means it's gonna count increments of five. So five, 10, 15, 20, all the way up to our set capacity. So we're gonna press set and print to save that right here. And then C04 is asking what our capacity of our scale will be. So, or the capacity of what you want your indicator to read to. So you're gonna press set and print. And here we're gonna put in a number. So for this scale, we're gonna put 2,500 pounds. So 2,500 pounds, point zero. If you need to change this number, you're gonna use the arrows corresponding to each button. So you have an up arrow, a down arrow, and then a left arrow here. So if these arrows, of course, allow you to change the number that's flashing. So if I wanted to change this zero to five, you would use the up or down arrow and change it to five. So we're gonna change this back to zero. And if you needed to change other numbers, you can use this hold button to left arrow and it's gonna highlight a different number or digit here to allow you to change it. So right now we're gonna leave this at 2,500 and you're gonna press set and print once you have what you want on the screen. C05 is the zero calibration. You're gonna press set and print. At this point, you wanna make sure there's nothing on the scale Zero is to not calibrate it, one is to calibrate. So we're gonna to wanna to calibrate, so we're gonna set it to one and then press set and print. It's gonna do a countdown. And once the count sounds done, it should show zeros and you have calibrated zero for the indicator. So once that's done, press set and print. C06, C06 is when we calibrate with the weight. We're gonna press set and print to enter in that. So zero again is to not calibrate it. To set with weight, you have a couple more extra options. One is to do one calibration, a simple calibration, as, and then two and three are linear calibrations. We have other videos for linear calibrations. For this video, we're just gonna do a simple calibration, so we're gonna do one. And you're gonna press set and print. Once you have that, it'll say span, and then it'll ask how much weight you're gonna put on the scale. So for this demonstration, we're gonna put 50 pounds. So let me go ahead and put 50 pounds on the center of the scale. Perfect. Now that you have 50 pounds on your scale or however much weight you have to calibrate, usually you want at least 10%, but this is just for demonstration. So 50 pounds 
And once you have that on the scale, you always want to make sure you let the scale rest because once you put weight on it, it does shake and move. So you want to give the scale a second to stop moving. So once that's done, you're going to press set and print and it'll start doing a countdown. Once the countdown is done, it'll show you an internal reading and then it'll say count end. Once that's done, you're going to press on and off. You're just going to press it. You're not going to hold it to turn off the indicator. You're just going to press it to get back to weighing mode. So press and it should show the weight that you put onto your scale. So we can test it by picking up the weight. It'll go to zero and then putting the weight back on. 50 pounds. So that's completely calibrated and ready for use. If you do have any questions or if you need any additional help, give us a call and check out our website, sellitonscales.com. Thank you very much.